When you have a pinching in the front of your hip with no other pathology showing, then typically what happens is that greater trochanter of the femur in the acetabulum will translate forward. So every time you lift that knee up, you get a pinch in the front. So by doing this exercise, a banded distraction rock back, you can help translate that head of the femur back into the acetabulum correctly. To expand on that, there's two different exercises that you can do in a tripod position. This first one is just some lateral pelvic tilting while having that banded leg out to the side. This will help open up those adductors while still shifting that femur back. Then you can go into your tripod rock back to further open the posterior adductor magnus while getting that posterior translation of the femur. Staying in that banded distraction, we can also open up your psoas and your TFL, which are two hip flexor muscles, and we can do it in a quad hip flexor stretch with a rotation. So this will help open up that hip flexor again, get a little bit more of a posterior translation of the femoral head in the acetabulum, and get the front of the hip to be less compacted. So we opened up the adductors, we opened up the hip flexors, we got that posterior translation of the femur, now we gotta make sure we keep it there. To do this, we're gonna be going through the big three hip complex, with the first one being a clamshell. So make sure when you do this, you keep the top hip pressed forward so that the hip bones are stacked on top of each other. You don't want the top hip rocking back. The second exercise, you start in that clamshell, shift that leg back and drive up to the ceiling with the heel. So you should be feeling that gluteus medius, that upper outer pocket, and think about lifting from the heel with the toe down. The third exercise is the tried and true glute bridge. So you wanna put some tension on that band and then I like to do it as a roll up. So instead of just lifting your hips up, I like to think about tucking the hips first and then rolling vertebrae by vertebrae up to the top. There's a bonus round. Exercise number four is a glute bridge march. You're gonna maintain the top of that glute bridge and you're gonna drive your knee up towards your chest that will help strengthen not just your core and your hip flexors, but the leg that's down will strengthen in the glute and help restabilize that SI joint. So to reiterate again, the main goal of getting rid of that anterior pinching when there's no other pathology present is, you imagine this is the femoral head and this is the acetabulum. Instead of being settled in, nice and nestled in the middle, it could be translated forward and upward a little bit by having hypertonic muscles in the hip flexors and the adductors, specifically the adductor magnus with the posterior fibers. So what we wanna do is some banded distraction. Think about getting it unstuck from that position by pulling it back and down, back into place, stretching out those hip flexors and adductors, and then strengthening the glute muscles so that it can keep that structure in place and not translate back forward. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave some comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And if you wanna find out some more of what I do, you can find me on Instagram at bioelite underscore Gianni. And I'll also tag my email below if you wanna reach out further.